is going to introduce you to Android Studio. But before we take a look at the application, let's talk a little bit about Java. So you could, if you really wanted to, write your entire application just using a text editor. The problem with that is Java has lots of different pieces and files, so you really need some help in terms of maneuvering through your code, and that usually comes in the form of an IDE, like Eclipse or Android Studio. An IDE stands for an Integrated Development Environment. So think of it this way. Android Studio is going to take care of managing all your code, and we're going to take care of the rest. So let's go over some of the features of it. I'm going to start it up, and the first thing that I love about Android Studio is the startup experience. Normally you have to write a bunch of things in the very beginning when you start a project, but here we can kind of go through a wizard that's going to help us set up the very basics for many different types of projects. Remember that Android is not just for phones, it's also for wearables or even Google TV. I'm going to go ahead and create just a phone project to start up, and you can see that we have all these great templates, so rather than having to do a bunch of boilerplate stuff in the beginning, it starts us off with a really good starting point for many of the different types of applications we'd want to create. Don't worry about me kind of running through this very quickly. I'm just trying to show off the IDE. So one of the things that's also really great is an IDE usually gives you a lot of feedback about what's going on in the background as it's doing stuff for you. This allows you to concentrate more on what you want to build and what you want to code. But at the same time, it's going to give you little hints throughout the application, especially along the sides. You can see down here it's updating some indices. You can see that there's some processes running. So it's always doing stuff for you, and you can often get that feedback without it overwhelming you right in the front. Now, if we're going to be creating code to so many different types of devices, what we really need to be able to do is see what it's going to look like depending on the form factor and device. And Android Studio has this great integrated uh, editor into it, which allows us to look at the same view and instantly change what the actual object is that it would be running on. Not only for tablets and phones, but also for uh, wearables and even Google TV. Now there's a lot of other features that I'm not going to go over and show you directly, because it's not really important, but there's all this other cool stuff. In Android Studio, you also have a international string editor, so it makes it really easy if you want to have multiple languages for your project. Um, it also integrates with Google's backend services, so that even if you're not a server engineer, you can actually get part of your application to integrate with Google that way. And it's all just built in in a really nice package. For me, there's really one main reason why I love Android Studio, and that's that it's fast. When you're creating code in Java, usually what ends up happening is you start trying to type some code, and you can't keep all that stuff in your head, so what Android Studio does is it actually has one of the fastest code completion uh, algorithm sets that I've ever seen, um, which allows you to really quickly start to see options for your code, it auto-completes things for you, um, and it just makes it much easier as you're looking at particular pieces of your code to get help as you're coding. Uh, Eclipse also does this, it's another IDE, but IntelliJ, which is what Android Studio is based on, is so much faster and so much better. On top of that, sometimes you'll have a particular change that you want to do throughout your entire project. Well, in Eclipse, in, granted it does it very well, but it just does it so much faster in Android Studio. Uh, here I want to change the name of this particular class from main activity maybe to something like awesome activity. So not only is it going to change that, but it's going to look for usages, change the file names, and everything is just going to work. So I can think about what I want to change it to, rather than having to worry about, oh, did I miss it somewhere? Again, it's going to take care of all of the code management for you. And it's so fast, fast, fast. Now, being fast is great, but you know, sometimes when we're developing, what we really want to do is we want to slow things down. And Android Studio also has a really, really great debugger. What this means is that rather than having to pay attention to how to get the data from what's actually going on, we can actually take a look at things step by step and move through them step by step and see how data changes. This makes it so much easier to troubleshoot problems. So just to summarize, Android Studio, it's not only an awesome tool, but it's also what we're going to use throughout the course, and it's what's going to empower you to not waste time worrying about managing your code, but instead focus on making really cool applications.